Chinese President Hu Jintao's long-awaited visit to the United States is finally upon us. Both sides will be emphasizing economic disagreements, while at the same time showing that they can still cooperate. The economic sphere is going to be the one that gets the most attention. Obviously for the United States, this is still of prime concern, uh, especially with unemployment remaining high even despite improving economic numbers. When China comes, of course, it comes at a time that over the past year we've seen much more strident demands from the U.S. about China's economy. And popularly and in Congress, there's been more pressure on China to accelerate its uh, appreciation of the, of the yuan and also to give more market access to U.S. exports and stop kind of unfair practices that favor Chinese companies, uh, which the U.S. has in particular focused on in its bid to uh, start World Trade Organization negotiations with China over wind power subsidization. Currency will, of course, be a topic of discussion, but the United States hasn't indicated that it's going to pursue it aggressively while Hu is in town. Uh, the primary issue here is that Secretary of Treasury Geithner has indicated beforehand uh, that he's seeing at least enough appreciation from the yuan, possibly up to 10 percent uh, over the upcoming year, that that would be enough to allay some concern and uh, prevent the U.S. Uh, Congress from more aggressively slapping uh, restrictions on trade. China has rebuffed that kind of talk. President Hu, is, it's important for him to show his domestic audience that he's not being bullied around by the U.S. on the currency. And he's countered by proposing, uh, you know, as China has done before, that the U.S. dollar uh, shouldn't be the global reserve currency, that U.S. Uh, fiscal policy has made that basically an injustice foisted upon the world. Uh, most of this is political rhetoric. Uh, the U.S. dollar isn't going anywhere. Uh, the U.S. remains the largest and most stable uh, economy and store of wealth in the world, and it's a safe haven for investors whenever anything goes wrong. But what who wants to do, again, shift the attention away from the pace that his currency is appreciating and the fact that the Chinese currency isn't even openly convertible. Otherwise, the two sides will talk about broader questions about how China is restructuring its economy uh, to be more domestic demand driven, which is of concern to the U.S. because it's trying to surge exports to China and get more market access. The U.S. is also concerned about making sure that China follows through with its ongoing campaign to enforce intellectual property rights, which China has uh, touted as an answer to criticisms that it never does so. Meanwhile, China will be on a charm offensive of sorts to try to defray some of American animosity towards China's economic policies. Uh, this means that uh, Hu will emphasize the fact that not only is China investing in the U.S. in a way that helps the economy, uh, but it's doing so in a way that helps individuals by employing more Americans. And uh, the interesting thing here will be to see how successful this charm offensive is, given that the United States public is very skeptical of, of China's claims in general.